So we are back at the Magic Kingdom for part two of trying to see the Christmas cavalcade. It just had a big rainstorm, so I don't know if they're going on right now, but uh, hopefully in the near future. So it's a Tuesday, and uh, it's a lot less busy than when I was here last Friday. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I mean. First, you can kind of see behind me, there's no one there, but this is Main Street. Nada, nobody. It's weird, but I'm not mad about it. The Christmas balloons are back. They didn't have them on Friday. There's cavalcades. It's only taken me like five days to see them. I hear the music. I don't know which one this is. I'm so excited. Just so you guys know, these are the modified rainy weather Christmas cavalcades. Normally, Mickey and Minnie will be coming on their Christmas tree float from once, like their once upon a Christmas time parade. <laughs>
holidays to all of you. Such a beautiful time of year. So good to see everyone. Hello there. Thank you all for being here. So I'm home right now, and you might be like, Bridget, why are you filming from home? You were just showing us the cavalcades. There's a couple things I wanted to include that I didn't include in the video. First, the cavalcades are never guaranteed. They aren't. There's no set times. People like to say they run about every 15 minutes or so. I've waited like 30 minutes just trying to film one before. There's no guaranteed time, there's no guaranteed set of order, and there's no guarantee that you're going to see all of them. I assume if you would go on a weekend you would, but still, they could be delayed by, they could be affected by weather, they could be affected by staffing, there's no guarantee. Um, second, I don't recommend sitting out and waiting for them. I really don't. Just like I don't recommend sitting out and waiting to see all the projections on the um, on Cinderella's castle at night. I don't recommend waiting out to see these um, like cavalcades. Now if you're on Main Street or if you want to photograph them, sure. But if you're going there to actually have a day in the park, it's not worth it. Now at the end of the night, Mickey and his friends will actually be up on the train station so you can see them as you're leaving and same thing when you enter the park um first thing in the morning so right around if the park opens at 9 right around 8 40 or so they will be up on the train station waving to the guests i actually was able to get into the magic kingdom last time i was there around 8 like 8 20 um i took the from the TTC, took the bus over and was in the park in no time. Um, but leave any questions or comments you have down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow along with me on my social media. And I'll see you guys next time. And this is Bridget's Buzz.